In 1964, Liebestein launched a wine revolution when it topped sales of more than 31 million litres, forever changing the perception of what could be achieved with the right product in the right market. What I've noticed is that my generation is enjoying wine more than our parents. And that shows the shift of our generation into the middle class. I'm so excited to be in the industry because we as the younger generation like transparency of what we eat and drink. And the wine industry is offering exactly that. They connect the concept of organic and natural as well as home brewed. Like we can see with the microbreweries, the industry is just ahead of the curve. Ahead of the curve indeed. Since its development and commercialization in the 1950s, Pinotage has grown from just over 660,000 vines in 1979 to nearly 21 million vines in South Africa, making it the third most planted after Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz. Locally and internationally, it, um, there's a lot of favour. Um, a lot of people are asking for Pinotage. And um, I'd say one of the reasons is definitely the diversity of styles these days. Um, it's truly unique, um, I'd say, a South African story. And I think with the quality our producers are rolling out these days, it certainly deserves a spot in the limelight. More than 80% of Pinotage wine farms are stating that they plan to continue and even grow their Pinotage stock. The future of the varietal is certainly bright. There is no doubt for us that agriculture is a key driver when it comes to solving many of the South African challenges. Inside of that, we see the wine industry as being relatively neutral to the cyclical nature of this sector. This means that we will continue to invest in this sector and for us, that does not mean only supporting financially, it means supporting with insights, partnerships and on-the-ground relationships. The promise of Pinotage is seen by large corporations and aspiring youth alike. The future for me is still a concept. It is far away and very unknown. But what I do see around me is the focus on doing something that is a passion, something that I want to do. Wine and the wine industry represents that for me. I'm extremely grateful to have been given the opportunity to being part of this world. A generation of young winemakers are driving the potential of Pinotage and the industry in general with a focus on craftsmanship. It is this commitment to excellence that will allow South African wine to navigate the challenges ahead. So uh, I think the world today is really in turmoil when it comes to, to wine because you know you have fires in California, you have droughts in Europe. It's almost like South Africa is, is the most safest place to make wine nowadays and also the, our understanding of making wine in tough conditions. I think South Africans are quite resilient when it comes to that. Let us raise a glass to those who led the way, those who are driving the industry forward and those who are still to come. Together we can celebrate all that Pinotage has to offer. Cheers.